Here's our tail of the tape for these big boys. Guto Innocent, six foot three. D'Angelo Marshall, six foot five. Guto Innocent, 264 pounds, but you just saw him do a cartwheel. And D'Angelo Marshall is going to have to use that reach and try to pressure Guto to stop that movement. And that's what makes Guto so dangerous, is he can adapt really well, use his movement. And it shows that because he does have the fight experience and he does have that 3-0 glory record. But D'Angelo Marshall really wants to show his value in the glory ring using his boxing and his low kicks. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the glory heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. This two-time tournament winner comes in on a five-fight win streak. His professional record, 14 wins with just one loss. Eight of those wins by knockout. He'll make his glory debut in L.A. tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, 1.95 meters, and he weighed in at 241 and one half pounds, 109.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands by way of Curacao, here is D'Angelo Marshall. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a five-time Brazilian champion, also a South American and Pan Am champion. His record, 32 wins with seven losses, 17 of those wins by knockout. His glory career perfect, three wins and no losses. At six feet, three inches tall, 1.91 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 264 pounds, 119.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Brasilia, Brazil, introducing Guto Innocent. And your referee for this contest is Blake Grice. Come here, guys. You both know the rules. I do expect a clean fight. Obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up. Back up. Good luck. Guto Innocent made it clear to us he doesn't feel that D'Angelo Marshall is on his level. Wants to dispose of him as quickly as possible tonight. How does the pretty boy win this fight, Joe? He needs to stop that fight. movement of Guto because Guto's going to hit on angles and be very unorthodox with his footwork. You can see him circling and moving. He'll switch stances, but that's what D'Angelo Marshall needs to do. Keep the pressure on Guto. Get him against the ropes. Use his boxing. But that's hard because Guto's so well at his movement. Left hand connected there for Marshall. Guto's scattering and ducking for cover here. Good pressure Stop. fighting Stop. by Marshall. Clean break. Fight. But Innocence can catch you with a crazy kick at any moment. Marshall has to be very careful. There's that small ring having the advantage for Marshall. It's going to be harder for Gudo to create space. So Gudo may have to rely on staying in the pocket and throwing some combinations. There's a head kick thrown by Marshall. Nice hook cross by Marshall. So far, Guto has been backpedaling nonstop. Marshall's been laying on the pressure. Guto needs to be careful kicking on the outside because Marshall keeps pressure. He's going to open up his head as he punches. Marshall needs to keep up with those straight punches. Keeps tagging Guto with that jab. Stop! Great. Kudo Innocent shot at the age of 17 in the chest. That was his wake-up call. Said it changed his life. He headed right to a local gym and never left. And he trains with his father, Carlos Innocent. They have a very close relationship. Talk about a tough matchup for D'Angelo Marshall in his first glory fight. How do you combat the kind of offense that Innocence is going to throw your way. It's tough and it's keeping pressure. That's why Kudo's having a hard time you know, getting some good output going because Marshall keeps, keeps him against the ropes. Marshall would love for this to turn into a boxing match. Does not want any part of Guto's kicks. When we hear the Marshall's corner asking for the low kick, it's actually William Van Roosmalen in the corner of Marshall 
yelling for Marshall to throw low kicks. Marshall trying to fly on me. Greg, Poodle doing a good job at slipping off and getting under it. See, Poodle's very intimidated to kick because Marshall keeps throwing straight punches. A fantastic first ever round in glory for D'Angelo Marshall. The pretty boy looks pretty good. And he definitely looked very impressive with that pressure fighting, shutting down Guto. Here's our fighter profiles. We'll start with Guto Innocent out of Brazil. And Guto is one of those guys who's a, a full-time martial artist. He started striking from such a young age, and he even has MMA experience. He has two fights in the UFC. Uh, he has one fight in strike force, so he's a, a lifelong martial artist with his father, Carlos Innocent. So look for him to continue to try to use those spin attacks and all of his different weapons to try to slow down this man, the pressure fighter, D'Angelo Marshall, who's going to try to use his boxing like he's doing. He's doing a good job at using straight punches to shut Gudo's output down. And he also trains from a good camp in Netherlands from one of the same gyms that Murad Buzidi trains at. Round one goes to who? D'Angelo Marshall, 10 to 9. Can Marshall keep up this pace, this pressure? Guto perhaps sensing that he needs to change something here. Comes out swinging, catches him with a left hand. And it looks like Guto's going to try to use angles. Once he angles off, that's when he's going to start throwing his combinations. He's going to have to use his head, some head movement to move past those straight punches. Nice body kick connects. Guto did a good job landing that, but it's Marshall using a straight punch to shut down Guto's kick. Okay. Okay. Ready? Ready? Fight! It looks like Goodle's putting more punches on the inside instead of trying to exit. He's trying to attack the body, move out on angles. How do you like Marshall's ring generalship right now? It's really good. His pressure fighting is very impressive. He keeps stalking Gudo against the ropes, shutting down his movement, landing some good strikes. Oh, and that connected wasn't enough for a knockdown. The referee says no. But it looked like it did a lot of damage. It sounded good, that's for sure. He had a, a 360 spin kick to the inside leg. Fight out of it, guys. Imagine Fight that coming clean, your clean, way with clean. 264 pounds behind it. You just don't see that. Oh, and a right hand connects, and down goes Marshall. Three, Beautifully four, tied right hand five, by Guto. Six, seven, eight. Walk to me. You want to fight? Yes. He says he wants to fight, and here's where Guto will go for the kill. He's already looking for spinning attacks. And now Marshall's going to go down on his shield. You know that. He, he, just, wants, he wants this kind of fight. Yeah, he just landed some good punches, though, but he needs to be careful. Let himself recover. Fight! And now it's Guto stepping forward, landing some punches, too. But Marsh, Marshall threw a nice right hand. This is the fight Guto wants. Stay active here. And Marshall looks really wobbly. Oh, he caught him with an uppercut. And then a head kick. Marshall's in big time trouble. Good job by Guto mixing up his strikes. Marshall needs to get off those ropes, and he does. Oh, a straight right hand. Guto says that didn't hurt. Guto needs to stay composed. He needs to relax a little bit. Set up his strikes. Don't get too carried away. It looked like the referee was considering stopping the fight for a second, but has allowed Marshall to continue. We've seen Guto really use those powerful kicks and spin attacks, but you never really got to see his power in his hands. So Innocent with a 10-8 round two. 
So if you gave the first round to Marshall and a 10-8 to Innocence in round two, the Brazilian up by a point heading into the third. It's a tough, there was a beautiful round by Guto and he was having a, a, a hard time really trying to get in and land his strikes and fight his movement on the outside, but it's when he found that beautifully overhand right that just put Marshall to the canvas. Set up with a jab, beautiful overhand, and that's the shot that you have to throw against a taller fighter. You gotta start looping your punches over, perfectly timed. Guto really needed that shot because he was having a hard time with the pressure fighting of Marshall. So that was a good shot to give him some good confidence going into the third round. And here's where Marshall was in trouble in the corner. Guto was mixing up punches, attacking the body. And, and then the head kick comes right there. Just blocked off of Marshall's gun. <laughs> this should be a very interesting round three. It's a round that Marshall has to win. How much does he have left in the tank? He lands that punch straight away. Marshall's doing really good landing the jab. I'd like to see him double it up and maybe stay a little longer with the jab, but he can pressure fight mixing up the straight punches a little bit more. D'Angelo Marshall fighting out of the Netherlands by way of Curachow, the home of his parents. Never lived there, lived in Holland. He's training at Lucid Gym in Amsterdam. Look at the head punches. Marshall's throwing an action up. Spinning rear kick there from Guto, followed up by a left hand. Yeah, both of them tried throwing jump attacks at the same time. Stop. Break. Clean break. Fight. Oh, that right hand from Marshall connected. Sent some saliva spewing out of the mouth of the Brazilian. Break. Let's see if Guto can put some energy together and let some combinations fly with his hands. That's how he got really successful in that second round. He got on the inside, attacked the body, then mixed in the overhand and uppercuts. Marshall beginning to swing more wildly now. Guto slowing down with his kick output. Really looking and focusing on his boxing. You know, outside of Rico Verhoeven, the heavyweight division pretty wide open. A win here tonight for Guto Innocent. And he says, I want a top five guy after this. And he deserves it. A win here would make him 4-0 in glory. And he deserves a good shot. And it was after his first fight he was calling Rico. Maybe we can get Innocent in a contender tournament. Get him a future crack. That's how we do it here in glory. You want to wait, make your way to the top, you got to earn it. But he needs fight. to win this fight first, and he needs to put a little bit more activity in. If Marshall wins this round, it's, you have to go to a fourth round. Nice left uppercut from Marshall. There's another jab that you like so much, Joe. He needs to keep break, using it. Break, break, break. He always constantly throwing a jab cross. And if he would double up his jab and set up his right hand, it'd be a little bit more effective. Unlike boxing, if this is a draw after three rounds, we'll go to a fourth round. So if you gave round two to Inesic, 10-8, but Marshall wins rounds one and three, 10-9, that's a draw, at least according to my mind. But that reach is, hasn't really been affecting Gudo too much. He's doing a good job by getting in on the inside, but I want to see him keep hitting that body. Right hand, a straight right connects Break. for Marshall. Great guys, listen. Did he do enough in rounds one and three? So that's it. Almost happened. We go to the judges' scorecards. Obviously, the knockdown, the key moment in this fight in round two. The official decision headed your way next. Will it be Innocence? Will it be Marshall? Or will it be an extra round? put his shirt on. Maybe <laughs> his you, team doesn't think there's a fourth round. You can see both fighters have their gloves on. You cannot take your gloves off until a decision has been rendered because we could go to an extra round if it's a draw. Remember, Guto Innocent with the knockdown in round two. That's a 10-8 round. But if Marshall won the first and third round, it will be a draw. Let's send it into Tim Hughes. Do we have more from this fight? 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's look at the totals. Judge Dinkin scores the bout 29-27, Innocent. Judge Cobion and Judge Crail score the bout 28-28. It is a majority draw. But according to glory rules, we'll go one more round. You gotta love it, Joe. Oh, I'm hyped now. I love extra round. I think that's what makes kickboxing so exciting is that opportunity for that extra round. And Guto Innocent's corner was a, a little bit stunned. Like you said, they put his T-shirt on. They had to scramble to get it off. Innocent had a look of bewilderment in his face. Marshall was celebrating. His corner wanted the extra round, and now they get it. His corner slapping him in his face, trying to hype him up. It all comes down three minutes. Marshall told us yesterday, my skills might not be what Guto Innocent's are, but his heart and will aren't as good as mine, and that's what this fourth round could come down to. And let's see, it's been Marshall using that pressure fighting and giving Guto a hard time. Guto needs to be active with his boxing. I think that's his key to success. So essentially, it's a three-minute fight now. Fight! And yes, if this round somehow is a draw, we go to a fifth round. Sudden victory, we call it. Stop, 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 break. There's the total strikes. Marshall with 83 landed compared to 74 for Innocent. Very close. Who do you get the edge to in round three here? Well, this is the sudden round. This is round four, but so far it, it's tough because Marshall, it's the same thing that's happened in the first three fights. It's Marshall pressure fighting and Guto trying to get on the inside, but it's pretty even right now. Fight! Still time for Innocence to score one of those highlight reel knockdowns. He got a pretty good one in the second round. It's a straight punch right to the jaw of Marshall. He hasn't really thrown that overhand right shot that scored him that knockdown in the second round. He needs to go back to it. Nice body shot for Innocence. Good combination. I like when he keeps hitting Marshall's body. Line shot from Innocent. And yeah, then he followed a beautiful left uppercut. Left hook, Stop. left uppercut. Clean One of my favorites. Those are the type of moments that the judges remember. A nice scoring sequence. That kick hit nothing but air. It takes a lot of energy to throw those jumping kicks. He's trying to take advantage of those clean scoring strikes with spectacular techniques, and that's what he's known for. So a minute to go in this sudden victory round four in the heavyweight division. A good looking right hand from Marshall. And that's what he needed. It seemed to be going Gudo's way, but that right hand could change things. Stop! Stop! Fight! 30 seconds to go. This fight still certainly hangs in the balance. I love that outside left hook to the body. Marshall needs to get back to those straight punches. Stop. This is a very Wait, close man. round. I think both Wait, fighters will think Stop. they won it. Listen for the bell. Stop. Stop. Time. So there you have it. Who won? We all want to know. And we'll all find out when Glory 37 returns. Here are the highlights from this very close heavyweight encounter between Guto Innocent and D'Angelo Marshall. It took an extra round, Joe. And they had very different styles, and it was the pressure fighting of D'Angelo Marshall, but it was round two, which made this fight very interesting, where Guto was able to knock Marshall down with that overhand right and continue to put good pressure on. But in that third round, Marshall was able to recover from that knockdown, come back and continue his pressure fighting ways, which ultimately made this fight go to an extra round. And again, just like the other three, it was a very close round. Both exchanged punches. 
Gudo did a good job at landing a little bit more of those spectacular strikes, but who knows? It was also Marshall landing some good punches. Can go either way. Here are our strike statistics. It was close, as you can see, 196 thrown for Marshall. He landed 102, compared to 107 landed by Innocent. Strikes absorbed. Both men will be feeling this tomorrow. Innocent, 88 headshots absorbed, compared to 53 for the Dutchman. For the particulars on who won this fight, let's send it to Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after an extra round, all three of our judges see the bout the same and score a 10-9 for your winner, Guto Innocent. There you have it, our winner, Guto Innocent, who is coming back from two close wins. He had a close one against Gurgis, and now another close one against Marshall, but he's working his way up the rankings and very soon trying to get his spot against Rico.